What's up guys, Glenn here back on the Function Power Sports YouTube. Today we got a special guest, we got the boss hog of Anthem Off-Road Wheels here, Jordan. So welcome to the channel and we're going to be doing a from the gallery from Function Power Sports Online Gallery today. So basically it's going to be a battle between two machines. We'll go through the specs and we got to pick one at the end. Deal. So we got three rounds here. All right. Oh yeah, you ready for this? Ready. All right, so first up we got a 2019 Honda Talon 1000 X model. It's running some System 3 off-road SB4 beadlocks and a 15 by 7 and System 3 XTR 370s and a 32 by 10. So it's beefed up on some, you know, bigger wheels and tires. But yeah, this guy, Tim, he, all he does is trail ride and he does lots of miles. So it's a pretty slick setup. We'll run through the details. Oof, duh. Melissa, do I really have to read all these details? He's got a lot done to it, let's say we're that. We're gonna plug the detail <clears throat> box here while we're talking about this machine that it's completely decked out, which you can now do with FunctionPowerSports.com. Overall, pretty darn pretty darn sweet though. I mean, he's, he's clearing those, what did we say those tires were? They've got some meat tens. on them, 32 tens, and they show it. So Heck it's, yeah. a, it's a pretty sweet ride. It's, it's gonna be tough to see what this one's up against. All right, so okay, it's okay. up against the 2019 Polaris RZR XP Turbo Dynamics Edition. So it's got the automatic adjusting Fox suspension. And it's running some 15 by seven Raceline Rhino wheels and some 35 by 10 STI X Comp tires. So this thing's a uh, beefy, beefy. Yeah, easy that's a long here. boy. But he's got aftermarket bumpers, rock sliders. So and it does have an aftermarket cage. The yeah. The entire thing's aftermarket. Yeah, two different style builds for sure. And you can kind of tell right like, away from a, from a stretched out Polaris to a, yeah. a more of that, that short body style Honda and especially the wheel tire setups and, and what these things are made for. I mean, this one kind of gives me more uh, throw the whole family in it vibes where yep. that Honda gives me more uh, we're, we're, we're sending it <laughs> oh, type yeah. of vibes. And again, this one has a ton of things done to it. We're not gonna run through all of that. It's a lot of aftermarket parts on both these machines. So we got to pick one here. Melissa, you gonna give us a three, two, one countdown? Ready? Three, two, one. Honda. Honda Talon. Yep. Are you taking the Honda Talon? I'm, I'm taking the What's Honda as well. What's your main reason? Main reason I think is again that the the function is still in that Honda. I think I mean you could you could go desert dune with the Honda if you wanted to, but right. you can very much so trail ride with it, which looks like what it's made for. Yep. Where that Polaris just seems like you are not gonna get that that level of trail riding out of that thing. You're gonna again get the whole family into it and uh, be able to kind of take it on on some more tame paths we'll yep, say yep, I would and, agree. and and i am a polaris guy so for me to side away from it <laughs> yeah i'd agree with really all of that there because myself i love riding the trails and then even the more extreme like outlaw trails where that razor would be too wide and too long to go through some of these obstacles yep and i mean being this guy tim that's got the talent i mean he color matched everything yeah. rock sliders the the rim of the beadlock is powder coated blue so it's he's got the whole color scheme matched and it's just a badass off-road rig agreed so, it is clean heck yeah we'll go on to round two here holy smokes so we got the bigs custom offset special <laughs> holy round here. cow uh 2017 can-am renegade 1000 xmr edition and it is on some what kind of wheels are these there's wheels inside of those tires it's a there little... is there is indeed wheels inside of those tires okay and the brand is unknown. It's got 14 by sevens <laughs> and then some super ATV assassinators and a 34 by eight. Okay. So, I mean, the XMR is a mud machine from the factory, but this guy uh, put some big mud bog tires on there. That thing is, uh, that is Radiator relocate, snorkel kit. I mean, it's got its purpose. If I was going mudding, I would want that machine, I think. Yeah. I mean, visually impressive, like, you know, it looks good. It looks I, I like that gray and black, exactly. It looks mean, like you said, it's got the snorkel, the 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 unit itself here definitely is an eye catcher, we'll say. It is a beast. Yeah, that yeah, is. It, a... It's strictly built for mudding with how that's set up for yep. sure. Oh boy, again, okay. on the bigs.co special round here, we got the 2019 Polaris Scrambler 850 on some 24 by seven MSA switch wheels and some 42 by 95 BKT TR171 tires. Okay. Holy cow. Holy cow is uh, uh, is right when you thought that number one was holy cow. Wow. And now you pull this one out. If you thought ground clearance was a thing, this uh, is a definition of ground clearance I'd say on a Scrambler 850. <laughs> yeah, wow. This one, uh, 
And it does look like it's sitting on some Super 8 CV portals. Let's see if they got that in the description. Doesn't state it, but I'm pretty sure it's got a portal lift. So what that does is on top of your A arms and control arms being a more arch lift there in the suspension, the portals is a ginormous aluminum block, which re-gears the machine and allows to lift even more. So to run 42s on a scrambler, I mean, you're gonna need portals, you're gonna need the clutch kits, all yep. that stuff. Yeah, wow. You ready I, to pick here? I've got my winner. All right, well, let's, let's get a three, two, one. Can-Am Can -Am. Renegade. The Can-Am yep. is, uh, again, the, the Super Swamper tires on that thing really <laughs> was like, holy cow. Um, and then you showed me some 24s on, uh, on, 42s. on yeah, that. Uh, that's big. Yep, that's big. Uh, and again, I, coming from Anthem, I, I am a big function over fashion kind of guy. I am yep. a, I, am a, I wanna use my machine, especially if I'm gonna invest this level of money. Again, if it if it's built for the swamps, that thing is a badass machine. Yeah. So I, I'm into it. I'm picking the Renegade. So both here are mud like purpose machine builds, but the Renegade being a little bit lower to the ground, sure you want maximum ground clearance to go through the really deep water. But if you're doing a mud drag or a mud run, you want that lower center of gravity for control. I mean, on 34 boggers, basically, yeah. I mean, this thing's gonna rip insanely fast through the mud. Hell yeah. So that's where I'm taking the Renegade and I'm a can -Am guy, so I kinda can't veer off to the scrambler on this one. Love it, I said I'm a Polaris guy and 0 for 2 on the Polaris, so we'll- uh, Typical we'll Polaris see. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if I can redeem myself here. All right, on to round three. Okay. okay, so round three, we're going into a different realm of machine builds. We got a 2020 Polaris RZR XP Turbo S, which this is gonna have that self-leveling suspension, just like the Dynamics. Hit it's it. got some 15 by seven Alba Racing beadlock wheels paired up with some 35 by 10 Maxxis Rockzillas. It's an off-road buggy is what Damn. they call them down in Missouri. So you have insane suspension travel, the extremely wide wheelbase, yep. the custom cage, the high doors, and it's on some Super ATV portals to lift it. Very purpose-built here for rock crawling. You got the, the rock sliders, that full cage. So if you roll this machine, it just, it holds up. Yeah, yeah, I, I really dig the Maxxis tires on this thing as well. This thing's gotta be a monster off-road. Yeah, off -road. yeah it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty tough overall, and, and honestly, it looks like it, it can perform and, and back it. So I'm curious here, before jumping to the next machine, what could this be paired up against? Because I mean, the guy, Josh, who had this machine, his best friend Brad also has a crazy rock crawler. Is this gonna be a friend to friend, or are we jumping to a new realm? Oh. Well, well, it'll be a little friend to friend it's here. It's a friend to friend from the gallery here. We got a 2019 Polaris RZR XP Turbo Dynamics Edition running some 14 by seven Raceline Mamba beadlocks on some 32 by 10 Maxxis Rockzillas. So a little bit more moderate setup and a fun fact, this one actually used to be on the Super ATV portals and Brad sold them to Josh. Okay. So they've both been insanely wide and tall at some point. This in is a life. little, yeah, this is a little uh, a swap party here. I mean, this Razor is literally a very similar setup and as we can see, it's doing the same flex on that other UTV tire, yep. but it doesn't have quite as much suspension travel there. So in comparison, you know, it's a little bit more moderate suspension setup, yep. but I mean, cage wise, insane. It's literally full cage front to back, uh, insane rock sliders, radius arms on the rear. Uh, I'll go with color. Uh, All right, we'll do color. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Pink. I don't know. I'm gonna take the aqua. I'm gonna take because it's that the color scheme. I absolutely love the black on that like custom aqua colored cage. But yep. now both of them. I mean, they're both turbos. Yep. They're both gonna do 90 miles an hour, even set up like that, which is nuts. Yep. And I'm so. thinking the opposite. I'm thinking if I have a crack at one of these two in the wide open desert, I can do whatever oh, I want with it. The pink one would be I'm, nuts. I'm taking the pink one because that would be nuts. I mean, you have the clearance, you have the travel. You can. I mean, really looks like you could do whatever you want in this thing, and it, it, it'll take it. So with that, we hope you guys enjoyed this from the gallery today. Basically, a battle of the builds, pretty much. And we had Jordan from Anthem Off-Road Wheels, so. You might see his face a little bit more here Let's in the next it. few months. We're gonna spill any secrets, but you know, yeah, maybe we're he's working cool on stuff. He's got a nice beard. He's got function shirts, so yeah. he's approved. Yeah. So make sure you give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to click subscribe so you see more of these videos coming soon. So with that we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Later.